Sisters on the Street was started in December 2016 when I started a homeless voter registration campaign at the Winter Shelters. And I noticed one night there was a woman who had gotten her period and she had blood on her pants. And I noticed her talking to a Department of Mental Health worker asking for a pair of pants without blood on them and she was really frustrated. And that started to open my eyes on the stigma of not just homelessness but menstruation as well. After this experience, we started Sisters on the Streets to get communities and high schools involved in collecting feminine hygiene, which we then distribute to homeless women. Homeless or not, we all bleed. Since Sisters on the Street first started in 2016, we've been advocating and having outreach programs where you meet the homeless on the streets. We bring them food, hygiene, clothes, and resource guides. We help them make and get to appointments like housing, mental health, and job interviews. We've also helped people get into sober living. We're meeting those in need at the locations in need are. Over the past two years, we've gone to meetings and forums of possible solutions just to get familiar with all the programs and providers available out there. There's not one provider that does it all, so we try being the missing link to connect them all together. Our biggest accomplishments is the connections that we've made to people that we serve on the streets, living in their cars, families in motels, the connections that we've made with the community for supporting our advocacy, and the connection that we've made to our wonderful volunteers who want to give back to their community. For Sisters in the Streets to grow, we want anyone in the world to start their own Hygiene with the Heart campaign to collect feminine hygiene to distribute to people that cannot access it or afford it. Human connection is key, and you don't need to be a social worker or an outreach worker to do it. And this is why we have other programs such as Beyond the Streets and Hygiene with the Heart, so you can get involved. Our Hygiene with the Heart program is about believing everybody deserves to be clean and have the proper hygiene to still have dignity for themselves. No woman should have to bleed through her pants because she can't afford to choose between feminine hygiene or food. Since Sisters on the Street was first created, we have handed out over 30,000 pads and tampons and over 1,000 bras and hundreds of pairs of underwear. And we do all this within the San Fernando Valley. Since we started Sisters on the Streets, it's been an eye-opener for many. For some, it's brought families together. It's brought God into people's lives. It's helped people deal with self-guilt. It's just such an eye-opening experience to learn all the factors of homelessness. By volunteering for your community, it makes you more a part of your community and you can see the difference. By engaging with people surviving on the streets will open your eyes to the factors that lead to homelessness. People should know Sisters on the Street because they could look at what we've accomplished. You don't need to be a nonprofit to start something. You just have to have an idea and start it. We're asking for people to find someone or something to support, whether it be people experiencing homelessness, senior citizens, children, or even animals. Just find someone or something to support. We're here to change the stigma of homelessness and menstruation, and you should too.